Meghan Markle's Suits co-star Patrick Adams is saying it was clear she had the part the minute we did the table read. You sure it wasn't when you guys actually did it in real life? Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I'm Andy Zignor and I'm bringing the tea. Exclusive. Now, I'm going to say allegedly just to cover my own butt here, uh, but I talked to somebody, I talked to a source who uh, I trust this source. I've come to talk to this source. I've, I've, I've accrued many sources and I got permission from this source. I can't name the source, but I got permission to share this story. And uh, the reality is, while, you know, Patrick's out there, you know, doing this podcast for Suits, speaking about the latest episode on his rewatches and saying that on his sidebar Suits show, uh, it was pretty clear the former Suits co-star Megan would get the part in the show as he discussed their first chemistry read for the hit legal drama. It's just odd. It's episode two of the show. She didn't come into, what, season two or three? He just couldn't resist. I wonder why. But he shared that he and the former actress had done a pilot before, which didn't get picked up, and they never saw each other again, okay, until they were later in for a chemistry read together for Suits. I'm just thinking, uh, I, just, I think just knowing each other and getting to calm down and not have these nerves of just getting to know one another really helped that chemistry read, recalled Adams. He added, we had an easygoing thing when we went into that room I bet you did. And it was pretty clear that she was going to get that part from the minute we did the chemistry read, I think, because they had a history. It was just so much easier than it was with anybody else. She crushed it, and she crushes it in the show, he added, of the Duchess of Sussex. Uh, Megan did, of course, get the part, playing Rachel Zane, opposite of all the, the castmates, as you know. It's weird to have a moment on camera where you could see your life change, you know, because this is really where my life change he told Rafferty, the show changed my whole life. It changed my career. It changed the way that it, I work. It changed the people in my life. So many things wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this show. And to be fair, this show, uh, you could be mad at her all you want. This show became a massive hit later uh, due to the replays on Netflix. But look, I don't care about that. You guys can like the show. You can do whatever you want. But, 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 allegedly. Uh, but am I, again, don't sue me, Megan, Patrick. This is what I'm hearing, and I, I guess I could be wrong. But uh, I heard there was uh, absolutely some funny business going on between these two. Specifically these two. And it wouldn't surprise me, given the closeness these two had in these scenes. Look, it's none of my business what two consenting adults do. Uh, I'm not one who's the best. Moral high ground in my past either. Uh, I've never shied away from that. Uh, but I will say they try to, you know, paint themselves as all moral, perfect people. They do. And uh, she was still in a relationship when these two were hooking up, from what I hear. Her first husband wasn't happy with it at all, from what I hear. And uh, these two were definitely canoodling during that exper experience. And from what I can gather, there were a lot of people suspecting this. And there was absolutely some hanky panky, if you will, some things happening behind the scenes. Uh, and uh, it seems pretty clear that they were doing it. <laughs> it seems pretty clear they were doing it on and off screen. And it happens. It happens. Who am I to judge? I just, you know, I also just like to show these because I know Prince Harry hates watching this. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> oh, God, Megan. Look, it wasn't even the show. She always played the, you know, girl who got it out. The Dawson's Creek, she's in the back of the car. And deal or no deal, she's out there. She really was selling her assets, if you will. Uh, and look, that's Hollywood for you. But this is where she came from. This is her. This is the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Let's let's do it. What's the point of sharing all this? I don't know. I, I just think it's important to sort of remind people that, look, they're not as honest as they say they are. Nobody is. No one's perfect, to be fair. Uh, but yes, from what I hear from people, she absolutely was hooking up with Patrick during the show while she was still with her first husband. Don't forget she had another husband. The way that whole thing went down sounds tragic. It sounds like that first husband wants nothing to do with any of this. Uh, from what I've gathered, he's moved on to another fan, you know, happy relationship with someone else. 
and uh, made it clear he wants nothing to do with her. But from everything I've gathered on my research, and it seems like it's out there already, he was heartbroken about it. Heartbroken and surprised. Megan was climbing that ladder to, you know, get successful in the town. And yeah, she was hooking up, doing questionable things with her co-stars. So I'm hearing, again, could be wrong. Could be wrong. But what do you guys think? What do you, what do you think? You watch those scenes with these two. He's out there now in episode two of his show talking about how clear the chemistry was. Do you think it was more than just on-screen chemistry? Do you think these two were finding that out behind the scenes as well? And look, if she wasn't married, who cares? Who cares at all? If she was still married and doing it behind her husband's back, that's not good. Uh, and people don't like it. Trust me, I know people don't like that. I don't like it. I'm not proud of it. I, I, I've not hid from my past. I, it is... Something I'm ashamed of that I've done. I was unfaithful in my marriage. And uh, you just got to own it. You got to own it. And uh, it, it, you, you attempt to move on. You try to be better. And I, I guess why I'm pointing this out and why I'm frustrated is, is she just never owns anything. We all have our issues. We're all human. We all mess up. But Megan, my gosh, you paint yourself as the duchess of all. and Oh, charitable. and She's so wonderful. And you're just like the rest of us. I actually, I'd say you're worse personally, but you're just bad. Uh, and this guy, I guess he doesn't want to come out and ever admit it. Why would he? Uh, it's not going to be a good look for him to, to go, you know, ex speak at a turn for who he was with privately. So I don't think we'll ever get this confirmed from either of them, of course. So I can't a hundred percent say what my sources are saying is accurate, but, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> What do you guys think? I'm curious what you think about this because I think it's pretty clear these two, uh, I don't even know what I can show here. <laughs> whoa, 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 my, that, oh, they, yeah, oh, oh, man, there's a lot of, a lot of cutting back and forth to this scene. Harry's made it clear he does not like watching this. <laughs> he does not like watching this. Uh, and, they really commit to this part. Now, granted, that's what actors do. But, uh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. That is this on USA? This is in Jeez. I can't show you that. But, yes, they seem to be enjoying themselves. And my speculation, my thoughts are because they did it in real life, too. Now, that's my opinion. And I'm holding it. My opinion, my conspiracy theory, my whatever. What do you think? Do you think my uh, my insights on the money on this? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Before you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that thumbs up as well and let me know what you think. Again, I don't want to judge Megan. I don't. But man, you guys make it so hard. Just, just go away. <laughs> just go away. Oh, well. Will they ever go away? No, they won't go away. Tell me what you think down below. Appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Palace.